How many times? How many times are we going to go through it? I was going to go live and do this, but I don't want to be distracted with a thousand things going on. Let's just uh, get it done and get it out to the public so that they can see it and they can respond to it. Now, Russell Westbrook was having a great summer. He was in shape. <clears throat> He's playing good pickup ball. Looking better than ever. But the only problem with Russell Westbrook is he never tried to evolve his game. You know, he might differ. He might say, I have enhanced my game. I've had added, like, my gotten better with my shot. You ask me? That shot looks flat. It has its days when it's going to go in, when it's not. And the way he plays basketball, he doesn't know how to take breaks and rest. He wears his body out. He plays at one speed, and that's 100 miles an hour. And I think even if you don't like me, you can agree with that assessment of Russell Westbrook. He plays to the wall. He keeps things to the chest. And that's really just Russell Westbrook. So, you know that. Then there's other things you should know. Russell Westbrook will do anything, anything. anything to get on that court and play and to win. But he also feel like if he don't have the team to win, if he don't have the horses to win, he going to get his. And when you start seeing that with this triple-double thing, I'm going to go out and try to average a triple-double. That's a mistake. Anybody who's saying they want to do that can do it. If you want to abandon the game and say, I'm going to average a triple-double, by all means, it can be done. Because once he started doing it, then everybody's like, okay, well, I'm going to get me a triple-double tonight. Then everybody start getting triple-doubles. Because, see, triple-double was something that happened in the course of the game. It wasn't something you set out to do. If you just by happenstance have more than 10 in each category, you got a triple-double. People didn't aim for it. They didn't say, I got to make sure I get me 10 assists in the game. You know, that's, that's you know. The, the thing is, if you're the point guard, a point guard's job is to orchestrate the game. You're like the conductor of a symphony. Okay? When you're out there, it's not about getting yours. You might want to take care of that big man who's been setting picks for you all night. You might want to make sure he get a couple of touches because he's he been up and down the court and he ain't touched the ball yet. He might want to get a touch on the ball. You know, he's earned it. He's been setting picks. Want to keep him happy. You want to keep that power forward. You want to probably get him going. He probably got a good matchup. Got a young guy on him, unsure of himself. Might want to take advantage of him, get him down low, get the ball to him, see how he reacts. You know, he might be asleep on certain screens, back cuts. Might want to test that out. You know, you might got a hungry two guard. Who love to come off the screen, catch and shoot. He might have his money spot. He want the ball right there, right in his shot pocket. That's what they call it, the shot pocket. When you give him the ball and they can just pull right up and shoot when you put the ball right in his shot pocket. 
So it's not about you. But Russell Westbrook can't keep going to the well. I don't know how many times he can keep doing this because he's getting older. And he's remarkably came back. This is his fourth knee scope on the same knee. Now, we don't know what the extent. It wasn't major surgery. This is something just minor to go in and correct some problems so that when the season starts, he may miss the first game or two, maybe. But other than that, he's going to be back to being Russell Westbrook. You know, hopefully. But this is what I'm talking about. OKC has got to get him some type of help. Who's backing up Russell Westbrook coming off the bench? Who's going to give him a blow? Who can come in and play the point guard position enough to where he can take breaks? He can rest. He can get his points easier. Because it looked like even they, though they had him, they were still struggling to score points. How does that happen? So, with that being said, people sending me text messages tonight. With that being said, I say this to say this. Let's not. Let's not go ahead and react in a rash way. We're not saying Russell Westbrook suck and he's going to be bad this year. I'm saying him coming off another knee surgery. This is number four on the same knee. No matter how minor it is, there's still someone digging in your knee on operation. You know, and the way he plays the game, how many times is OKC and Russell going to go to the well? You should try to protect your interests. But it seems like to me, OKC and the organization is happy with just being in contention, going to the playoffs, selling tickets. That's it. So with that being said, I see Russell Westbrook and Paul George still working hard and not smart. Once you're working smart, you're getting the same amount of points, but it's easier. You're not killing yourself. And I don't see that happening in OKC. When Michael, in the latter part of his years, he was getting the same points he was when he was younger, flying through the air, doing all these twisty, turvy moves. But when he was older, he was getting the same amount of points. And they were the easiest <laughs> easiest shots in, in his life. Like, this is easy. <laughs> I can get these shots all day. Fade away. Fade away. Elbow. In the paint. You know, smart. Playing smart. So. On that note, I want to just tell you like this. Uh, I'm out. And tell me what you think, because everybody's hitting me up right now, and that's just driving me nuts. Peace.